I have said and will continue to say, pour into the people that have poured into you. These men are in the find out season of their lives because right now people are pulling away, pulling back their time, energy, and resources away from the people who have not poured into them. I have noticed a shift where it comes to dealing with family members and dealing with relationships. A lot of people are just like, no. So this is a fairly long story. If you like story times, this is a good story time. If you do not like story times, stay tuned for the next video. Okay, so this was an email. Long story short, my um, the ex-husband called my daughter yesterday. She immediately hung up and told me. He then proceeded to send these long drawn out text messages to her. I've included them for you. His texts are the long ones and hers are in blue. After the last one, she sent his response. She blocked his number. For the background, I am 48 years old. My daughter is 21 and my son is 23. I divorced this man 14 years ago. I haven't heard from him since 2013 or 14. It's been so long. I literally forgot about him. He claims to care about them, but this man has never once paid one cent in child support. He refused to give me a phone number or address to where he was living at the time. I'm sure some people will be upset that I didn't pursue uh, matters further as far as the court, but him being out of our lives was enough for me. I didn't care about the money at this point. We were married for seven years. In the last two years of the marriage, he slowly stopped working or chose jobs with little or no advancement, just to say he had a job, would blow his money on BS and didn't contribute any to the bills. He would come home all hours of the day and night, but as he put it, he was grown, and as his wife, I should be grateful that he came home at all. With two young kids at the time, it took me time to save money and divorce him. I also had to take a restraining order out on him about two years after the divorce because his friends that lived nearby would report to him, and he would in turn call and harass me once I started dating. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep the restraining order because as I've mentioned before, he didn't give me an address to where he lived. So quick update. They were married for seven years. It was the last two years. He just stopped doing all of this stuff. And this man hasn't seen or talked to his kids for over a decade. And now he's trying to text them. So before I get into the rest of the email, because like I said, it's a long story time. Um, let's look at some of these text messages. The daughter is in blue and the mom, before she gave me these text messages, blanked out her children's names. So the daughter says, how did you get my number? And the dad or, or the sperm donor, all I ask is that you speak to me. This is your father. Sorry, it's been so long, but I had no way of getting in touch with you guys. I had no phone numbers, not anything. After your mother changed her number, I lost contact with you guys. I tried getting in touch with your brother on Facebook. He responded a few times and then stopped. Don't know why, but all I'm trying to do is get in touch with you and your brother and hopefully have a chance to see you guys again. Sorry for not being able to be in you and your brother's life. Trust me, I always wanted to be, so please call me or talk to me. I'm not a bad person or am I out to cause any problems? So at least hear me out. The daughter, I want to know how you got my number. He says he hired a private detective. Hopefully that will show you how much I've been wanting to get in touch with you and your brother. I mean, no harm. I do love you and your brother very much and always have. I just messed up when I was with your mother, just made some dumb decisions in my life that caused your mother to leave me that I regret so much till this day. I have my own place and have a good job. I know I've been out of you guys life for too long, but I'm, um, but I am here reaching out to you guys, even though you guys are grown. I want to know I mean, I want you to know that I do still want to be in you and your brother's life very much. So don't need anything from you guys, but your time, if you will give it to me, it don't matter if we have to meet out in a restaurant or wherever, it doesn't matter as long as I can be back in y'all's life and your mother doesn't have to worry about me trying to be involved in her life. I will not cause her any problems either. So please call me. And also, I would like to start to pay your mother back for a hospital bill I created from a wreck I had when me and your mother was together, if she, if she will allow me. The daughter, I feel like that is stalking, and it makes me feel unsafe and scared, like you're watching us. I'm going to tell her, and she isn't going to be happy. She won't contact you because she doesn't want you around bothering her. Please leave me alone. I'm appalled by the fact that you want to be in our lives now. You had multiple opportunities a long time ago, but failed to do so. I hope you understand and wish you the best. So 
please don't contact me anymore. So here's the last text message before dad got blocked. The only pictures I have of you and your brother are one of his Facebook page of when y'all was younger in Florida, when with you guys cousins in front of the Florida sign. I miss you and your brother so much. All I'm asking for is you and your brother to please trust me enough to get to know the man I am now. And I want you and your brother to know I've always loved y'all. I'm sorry. And please forgive me for not being there when y'all needed me the most. Wasn't my intention. Just messed up. Like I said, I made um, I made wrong decisions and I have felt like a part of me has been missing since I had to leave. I never wanted that to happen. If it sounds like I'm begging, um, if it sounds like I'm begging, trust me, I am. I don't want want to live, want to have any. I don't want to have to get any older, not having my children in my life and being there for you guys. And I will never make any promises. I cannot keep in. Like I said, I have a good career now and I'm able to help you and your brother. So please reach back. Lord, the grammar that hurt my head. I now have a brain, Charlie horse. Okay. Please do not be mad um, at me for calling you, calling you out in the blue. I had no other way. I promise y'all I can read. But this lack of grammar, wrong punctuation is making my brain like do somersaults or something. Anyways, so this is now the last text message he was able to send because he got blocked. So that is from the daughter's perspective, what this man who has been out of their lives sent. So going back to the mother's um, email, and like I said, this is a long one. Um, If you don't like story times, this is not for you. So this is what the mom continues. When he refers to contacting my son, he did so by going through a friend of a friend to get his phone number. That was back in 2019. This disturbed my son so bad with his studies in college that he couldn't focus on work and didn't finish. Then COVID happened. He's in a better place now mentally, and I wanted to stay that way. So I haven't told him about this. I don't want him to lose focus since he just got a new job and has a tendency to bottle up his anger and frustration. This is what I don't like about these men that just make surprise entrances. They really don't know how they interrupt these people's life and balance that they had to work to achieve. Okay, now she says, as far as changing my phone number, I changed the phone number five years ago. So that is no excuse why he hasn't been a participant. I'm still trying to figure out how he got my daughter's phone number. She says her number is not linked to any online accounts like Facebook or Instagram. Plus she's at, she's an added line on my account. So she doesn't have her own service plan. I honestly don't believe he hired a private investigator. For some reason, these men seem to know people in the most random places and can always get info in an underhanded way. I talked to my mother. She feels he is after something, whether it be money, a place to stay, or trying to bum a car ride. As she said, he is a user and users don't change. I do not want to text or contact him on my phone because all that's going to do is lead to harassment. So I'm tempted to buy a cheap phone just to text him and try to find out what he's after. Or should I just ignore him? Yes, please ignore him. That's Please ignore him. Ooh, but yeah, the way he is trying to get in touch with the kids. Y'all, you guys, you guys are going to have to chime in. I'm talking about the, the people that watch these videos. You guys are going to have to chime in. Do you think that she should just ignore him or buy the cheap phone like she says? Um, the mom, I'm asking mainly for my kids sake. Yes, they are grown, but being young, they don't see or understand the manipulation tactics that I see. Plus as their mother, even though it's not always possible, I will always want to protect them. Any ounce of grace on their side when it comes to him will open up a whole mess that will ultimately lead back to me. Just looking for some guidance from you and your fellow subscribers. Sorry, my email was so long. You can ask me any questions. Thanks. Whew. This is a cautionary tale on so many levels. You guys are very adept at grabbing things that you may have seen as I read through this long email, but go ahead, jump in. If you lasted this long, thank you. I appreciate you guys for being a supporter. Let me know or let her know what you think this situation, how she should handle this situation. As always, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share.